second method of uh, kind of teasing these values apart, if we don't like the jitter, we could also take the same code block and just add transparency. So what I'm going to do here is create a new header called transparency. I'm going to copy again my code block from above. And we'll try this first with point just to see the effect um, kind of compared to our original version. And the argument that we're going to use inside the parentheses is alpha. So alpha controls the amount of transparency. It goes from a zero to one scale. Uh, and we're going to set it to 0 0.5. And when you run this, you can see we're still in grayscale, so it might not be super visible. Um, but you can see that there are some darker points that represent essentially some kind of grouping, some, some stacking of values at that point whereas these lighter gray points are gonna represent areas where there's lower density, fewer points stacked one on top of the other. You could also add some color here. Try a tomato. Sorry, this has to be uh, in designating colors. You have to use quotation marks. So here I'm using tomato, which is kind of this red shade. Um, we could also change this to blue if we wanted to. Um, you can kind of play with this to see what gives you the clearest effect to get that kind of uh, color density uh, difference between these points. You can use the same combination of arguments with the jitter function as well. to Kind of mix these two methods here. So now we have this kind of cloud effect um, together with the transparency. All right, so you can uh, basically play with these to get the, the effect that you want. Again, um, we can combine this with the, uh, these arguments here to control the amount of jitter. Typically when we're stringing together a lot of different options here, there are some kind of best practices for formatting, um, just hitting the enter key after each uh, argument separates these on different lines and just kind of improves the readability. And the final example that we're gonna show here is using size, um, basically manipulating the size of the points to show as, how much uh, binning or concentration of points there are around specific uh, coordinates. Okay, so to demonstrate this, we're gonna Copy again the code block from above. We're going to change g on point to function e on count. Okay, run this. And you'll see now that this function has created kind of this new uh, dimension to the data. It's taking the number of points at each um, set of coordinates and changing the size of that point to represent the number of points that are at that location. Um, so this is a good way, again, of seeing kind of the density, the, the concentration of points at specific values. Okay, we wanted to provide um, some further kind of nuance here. Uh, for instance, if we wanted to see, um, to distinguish uh, points for different villages, we could add an additional argument here to our aesthetics, saying that we want uh, to set our color by the village um, that these uh, records belong to. So if you remember from our original data, there's a village column, um, and these records are represented, um, you know, some of them are in this god village, Kirozo. We have basically three different levels of values that the data can take. So if we do this, we're going to get the same kind of effect with the counts, but now we're distinguishing um, records that come from different villages. So for instance, this green point here, we have something like, uh, it looks like three points for, uh, from God and we have one point from Ruaka. 
that are the same location. But rather than just kind of binning them all together, um, there is some separation. We can get a little bit more nuance there. And you can see that the further, the more complex these graphs become, um, it becomes more important kind of the aesthetic choices that we make. So here we have a blue point kind of superimposed on a green point. Um, this might not be ideal for kind of readability, specifically when we start getting into some color blindness issues and that sort of thing. Um, so you would just want to kind of play with this to make sure that um, that the graphs are readable, um, that you're taking into consideration um, uh, these kinds of visual differences that people have, um, and just make sure to make good choices so that that data is, is interpretable.